Alexander McQueen once quoted, Fashion should be a form of escapism and not a form of imprisonment. Goldie's music videos are a concrete representation of this quote. She built herself a fashion bubble where she was able to express herself while captivating her audience. Her fashion choices were anything but random. In this video, we take a look at what really made Goldie unique. This is Africa's fashion business and welcome to a fashion perspective. During her most active years, from 2009 to her death in 2013, Goldie Harvey established herself as the queen of looks. This came from a place of self-awareness and a heightened sense of personal style and portrayal. Whether she was donning an edgy sexy look or making a historical reference, it all showed that Goldie understood what she needed to do to look good and create shock factors. It can be argued that Goldie brought a visual turnaround in the music industry during her period. Her extravagant videos and her choice of outfits contributed to the reason why female musicians after her paid more attention to their music videos and the fashion story they told. An exciting thing to note when watching Goldie is her penchant for making fashion references. Goldie did not simply make videos and throw in clothes. The clothes were embedded to contribute to the whole narrative of the music and the effect she was going for. These references helped in setting the tone of a particular scene. In her Don't Touch music video, one that propelled her to national superstardom, Goldie is seen in one scene channeling Cleopatra while wearing a Nemes. In another scene, she's seen wearing a modified version of an 18th century European outfit. In Sin My Name music video, she went from channeling Princess Leia's infamous hairstyle to being a traditional African priestess. Her collaboration with LD in You Know It saw her attempt to recreate the world created by novelist F. Scott Fitzgerald in his famous book, The Great Gatsby. Goldie's commitment and extravagance added to her appeal. In a typical three-minute video, one would expect to see an artist change a couple of times. Tiwa Savage's video, 49.99, saw her with a total of six outfit changes. Yami Alade's famous video, Johnny, had five outfit changes. These numbers compare slightly lower to Goldie's 11 outfit changes in Say My Name and 12 outfit changes in Don't Touch. Goldie's extravagant outfit changes did well to expose her showmanship, her knack for visual narration, and her commitment to telling stories through her looks. Her already mentioned videos proved to speculate the amount of time and hard work it must have taken to curate these looks. They looked expensive, well made, and played up the fantasy world she was trying to build. For fashion to be exciting, it has to be fearless. Goldie understood this. Her choice of outfits created from reference or a subtle nod to fantasy meant wearing looks that weren't quite safe. Her ability to surprise and shock created room for excitement and polarized her in the mind of the audience. In one scene in You Know It, she wore a metallic gold off-shoulder bodysuit with matching elbow-length gloves. A scene in Say My Name, she's seen wearing a couture dress made entirely of newspapers. Goldie was never afraid to wear that which might be considered tacky or risky and somehow managed to make it look expensive and high fashion. In her short career, Goldie was able to show the world who she was. She achieved this through her music and love of fashion. Her music videos remain some of the most exciting to watch due to her ability to build and explore a different world. Whatever opinions one might have had about her personal style, one thing was sure. She was talked about. This polarity in opinions kept her interesting and buzzing. She influenced a new generation of musicians in taking risks, exploring fashion in music videos, and owning one's personality. Goody's personal style will, and always, be cherished.